This channel is for immature audiences only. It is not for children, only for childish adults. We might play some video games that kids also like, but we say words like fuck and shit with alarming frequency and make crude, inappropriate, and morbid jokes all the damn time. Level Zero NPCs assumes no responsibility if your idiot spawn watches this and gets traumatized. Baby life. <coughs> Baby life. Baby life. Baby life. Baby life. Baba life. Baby life. Baba life. Hashtag baby life. <laughs> <laughs> the house beckons you. The mm. house beckons you. It's a deep Andy, voice. It will remind you what you need to do. Yeah, totally. Oh, shit. He, did, he doesn't voice. sound pitched down either. No, no, that's just a dude with a, with a low voice. I think right I found there. him last week. I, I, I think you so. You did, yeah. Yeah, I think I I, I, there's no proof it was him. He's just an old guy who lives in California. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you mean yeah? We we tracked him down on on LinkedIn or something like that. <laughs> I mean, let, let, me hear, let me hear the, the let me hear the skull one more time. Yeah, sure. Once we get in the. Uh oh. Oh, never mind. There's a thing happening. Yeah. Someone someone's having a dinner party. We gotta reckon with a phantasm. It's a bunch of seagulls or something, maybe. My? <laughs> My? This <laughs> a house full of seagulls. <laughs> what the hell? Much like How's we were talking about earlier, if seagulls leave ghosts, ghosts are probably not a big deal. <laughs> 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 oh, I gotta do a thing here. One second. Oh. Ooh, looking under oh, the hood oh, there. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh. Ah, we now we're back. I forgot to turn my CRT shader on. Now it's on. Oh, oh. There we go. Now it's like being there. Yeah. The 90s, Something's I mean. Something's different in the conservatory. Something's different? Something's different in the conservatory. I was going to say he sounded like someone, but he doesn't. No, he sounds like someone. He sounds like, he sounds like a person, yes. He sounds like he might be <laughs> someone. but Like a red skull? Uh, one of the lines earlier, he sounded a little bit like uh, like that guy, you know. Must, mustache cowboy man. You know? Oh, oh yeah. Sam Elliott. Yeah, that's the guy. There you go. Yeah. You know, I was thinking Sam Elliott. I should have just should have just gone for it. No, I don't really know from what? famous people, though. You You made the right call being afraid. I just, <laughs> I just rewatched the, the Big Lebowski like a week ago. So. That's uh, that's really the takeaway: is choose fear. <laughs> choose fear. <laughs> choose fear. It is horror month. Yeah, after I was going to say. Reverse absolutely. Hippocratic oath. <laughs> <laughs> Always do harm. Earlier, we were discussing the reverse Hippocratic oath, which is do only harm. <laughs> yeah, mm -hmm. to fullest extent and as much as possible. It would be hard to go far with that because you'd have so many enemies after a certain point. You could only really have allies who also had taken the reverse Hippocratic Oath, and you would have to hurt them. Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a tough life. It's not for everybody. I mean, you know, you got to be a pragmatic, I imagine, when you are when you conform to the, the reverse Hippocratic Oath. Because, like, doing only harm doesn't necessarily mean that every single action you do has to cause, like, immediate harm to everything in the immediate, like... It could be a collaboration to create greater harm. I oh, imagine. look, look, this is that's exactly what I'm thinking. I think it's just I mean, there's, there's a lot of ways to cause harm. Oh, yeah. Boy. So you're, it's it's about the different types of uh, chaotic evil. Chaotic evil in D&D &D terms doesn't necessarily mean you just savage every person you meet with your teeth and fingernails. <laughs> uh, yeah, exactly. Like oh, that's kind of down to what you're like, you know, your mental attributes, your wisdom, your intelligence, right? Like. You might have long-term plans to sow chaos and evil through the world. Yeah. Yeah. Just like how a doctor uh, is swears to do no harm, but you may feel a pinch when they saw off your leg to save your life. Yeah, exactly. Like, that that is harm. They are removing a limb, but it is in, it's the greater good. Yeah. Right? No, I guess that would work. You'd have to yeah, really keep that, that amputation thing in mind. <laughs> yeah, it's a good it's a good analogy, right? Also, because um, like as as a you know someone who swore the reverse Hippocratic oath, you would probably want to uh, 
take people's limbs for no reason. <laughs> yeah. Uh, or takes people's limbs because it would cause greater strife of some <laughs> manner. Yeah. You're just I, like, what, what, this person has such a good life. They're doing so much good. <laughs> what can I do about that? Hands. Yeah, That's the issue. This guy has really hands. <laughs> good penmanship, you know, someone that, yeah, an artist perhaps use their right hand. Yeah, I mean, something where they'd really miss it. Yeah. A dancer. The key you is know, the, the key is for you to know you've done harm, but no one else. That is the Olympic real marathon runner supporting a, a poor family. Yeah, yeah, yep, that works. Mm-hmm. You're not just crushing the hopes and dreams of one family. You're crushing in potentially the hopes and dreams of a whole country rallied behind this person. Oh yeah, the Olympics. That would be something, wouldn't it? That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. You'd want yeah. to take the legs like at the hip though, because you wouldn't want him getting those like springy carbon fiber legs and becoming like <laughs> yeah, a yeah. like a you know like uh, a, a real Fox hero. Kind of thing, yeah. 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 Just like soul crushing kind of yeah. I did see a, anyway. a thing about a football player with no legs and he just ran around on his arms and he was fucking terrified. <laughs> Wow. wow. He, was, he was very adept. Like, he really took people down. He got some incredible speed on him. <laughs> uh, I got I got nothing for that one. Um, shall we investigate this uh, horrifying uh, effigy? Oh, please. It's a goddamn ball of fire in a mirror. How bad could it be? <laughs> We're about to find out how bad it can be, I guess. Oh, ghost child. GC. GC. <laughs> There's a missed opportunity Ooh. there for that image to become horrific when we looked back. Mm hmm. Let's keep checking that out just to see if it's. Well, well. Look who's here. Oh, sorry, not a child. Do, do, boo, boo, do. My dear husband. Here's to you. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, Aw, white in the face. You're going right in the head, Twister, lady. Oh, man. Oh, goodness. Oh, right in the eye. Oh. You look cute as a Borg to her. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Look, the other ones were so, like... Like, he set the that up. Yeah, yeah this one was he's, just he's, like... You know, yeah. Yeah, he was just like, let me make this pencil disappear with her. Did you just puke in the sink? I think she did, yeah. Of all of the ones she's seen so far, this is the one that has mm-hmm. affected her the most. I mean, I guess it had the most gore. No, what about the. Did it? The entrail no. marmalade thing we saw the yeah, other time. The chili that's, thing. Yeah. That's animal gore. And it cut away to Adrian's reaction on yeah. the head twist, but there had to be more to that, you know? They just weren't showing us. Anyway, but we better stick around and live, continue living in this house and just yeah. doing our life. Yeah. And, you know, th- there's the no, re- no reason to leave. Don will come around. Yeah. Maybe I yeah, should cook Don's some bacon. Don's just under a lot of stress making yeah. his, uh, you know, building his dark room right yeah. now. Yeah, yeah. There's no reason to take all of these things and fit them together no. into a broader <laughs> picture. Just keep leaving him alone. Yeah. It's like a jigsaw puzzle. You open it up and you dump the pieces on the table and you sort of mix them around with your hands. And then you walk away and you can keep living your life. <laughs> yeah. There, there's no reason to go and get some gasoline out of your car and just spread it all over this room to the fireplace and Point then a leave. Friend. Yeah. yeah. There's no there's no making sense of the world. It's a madman's game. Yeah. Oh. That music makes me think that there's something spooky happening. It is a little spooky, isn't it? It's a little spooky. This room is so fucking huge. <laughs> it's a very large room. The whole, the whole house, the whole mansion. Uh, 
it's it's the extravagance of it would make anyone suspicious. I mean, yeah, you don't get to be this rich for no reason. Do you know what I don't like? What don't you like? I don't like how regretful the ghost of Magic Face was. The ghost of Magic Face. Yeah, last last episode when we talked to the ghost of the magician. You wanted him to just be evil. Yeah, I mean, I understand why he was regretful, oh, but... Oh, uh, it's not magic face. It's not you just magic wanted, face. You just wanted him to be like, I'll fucking kill you too! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't like I don't like how he was like, oh. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, you know, it. it's uh, presumably, uh, you know, him sort of proving in his own way that he was possessed by a demon and there's a greater evil power here than, you know, David Copperfield the serial murderer. <laughs> the, uh, he, he would be a good candidate for a reverse Hippocratic Oath, though, because if I can think of any opposite to a doctor, it would be a mystic. <laughs> magician. A magician. Yeah, nice. A magician. Magician sounds so much less threatening, doesn't it? <laughs> I, I it, of of the various spellcasters, I think magician is probably the least threatening. <laughs> magician, it's, it's a fun. It's fun to Wizard. refer to uh, if, if you're playing D and D. It's fun to refer to spellcasters as magicians, <laughs> like in yeah. a setting. Oh, I meant to ask you guys: Did you find your giggle locket since we got <laughs> <laughs> uh, Everybody has one. Absolutely. I mean, yeah, yeah, it's, but yeah, you might not have one. Um, oh fuck! Never mind. I'm gonna sit back and watch this shit. Is this a cameo? I can't tell if this resolution. It is a cameo. Yes. Yeah. An antique cameo brooch. Mm. There you go. There we go. Oh, here we go. Oh, oh. Oh, 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 oh. immediately I want to poke Dan, Don with that. Yeah, let's go. I mean, let's go jam this in his eye. <laughs> that feels like the right, you know, thing to want to do. It's really uh, kind of amazing that Adrian hasn't done something about Don at this point. We don't actually know how different this is from him, though. She seems a bit surprised, but maybe well, he just goes through phases like this. They, they seemed very much in love at the start of this. Yeah. And he seemed... He seemed... They boned. <laughs> yeah, they boned. At the start. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they, they, That's always true love, right? He seemed cringe. Well, I mean, it didn't seem hateful, at least. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he gosh, seemed, what he, a low bar. He seemed cringy, <laughs> but he didn't. He wasn't evil, you know. Like he was like, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, you know, he's the kind of guy that wears khaki vests and a ponytail. But it was the nineties, you know. He proceeded to what once possessed. He p- proceeded to behave in a way that can't be excused by stress or having a bad day. Yeah, we, we've guess. all of us done and said things we regret when we're tired and stuff like that. But like, th- there's kind of, uh, you know. A line where things are no longer excused by having a bad day. Well, yeah. let's see. He yeah. he's kind of grabby and pulley, and he was rude to the Bell Alliant uh, employee <gasps> that came. The Bell. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> now I have to be clear. It, it, it's it's not morally wrong to mistreat <laughs> Bell Alliant employees. <laughs> <laughs> wow. It's like setting a fruit fly trap. It's just practical. It's, uh, <laughs> that's a projector. The dragon will lead the way. We should get our ghost magician to teach us how to palm objects <laughs> and then have the brooch open in our hand. Yeah. And just slap it into our husband's yeah, face. Oh, sweet. A new room. Just closes behind us, and just a fine spray of blood comes around mm-hmm. the corners of the Why rectangle. Why you close that behind you? Well, d- look, I get it. Dawn. Drafts. <laughs> yeah, nothing in here could be worse than Dawn. 
If the walls erupt into crawl spikes, it still wouldn't be worse than done. <laughs> okay, we'll explore that later. There's more to see. Oh my goodness. What? What? Anyway, yeah. You heard me. The thing is, Evil Dawn has done some pretty horrific stuff. More okay. than just, like, like grabbing and stuff. We had to skip a whole fucking episode because we couldn't make people fucking watch it. Uh, uh, trust me. That's true. It, it was bad. And, okay. And this guy, like, he's, 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 he's too far gone. But I understand. Oh, right. Baby ectoplasm. It's been a while since we've waved our hand through the baby ectoplasm. Through the How baby you doing, life. cloud baby? <laughs> I feel like it's getting bigger. Was it this yeah, big before? I don't remember it being this big. It's amazing that she has this persistent apparition and mm-hmm. she doesn't tell anyone. God, what is this? <laughs> she doesn't know what it is. And she sa- she asks every a, time. It's just a lingering fart cloud. What <sighs> natural phenomena is causing this? <laughs> that she then wipes on her shirt yep. every time. It's probably just a natural gas leak. You know. Uh, Don't tell Don, though. Well, I think that's maybe why... No, Don's a narc. I think that's maybe why they 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 let the magician express his regrets so early. Is because... You know, you think, well, maybe we can save Don, but joke's on you. I don't give a shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we were never really it's rooting true. for Don. Yeah. He was fine at the start, I guess, but, like, I wasn't attached. Yeah, yeah. when when the best you've got is okay, right? Like, <laughs> I just hope we get away with killing him. isn't going to do much for you. <laughs> yeah, like, that's that's the thing, right? Like, I, I you I know. Mean, it feels like he's going to make us, so... It's Let's only hope. Oh, right. This. From the very start of the game. Yeah, yeah. I don't remember this at all. Yeah. Well, you weren't here at the time. I may have watched I'm pretty sure I probably watched it, but it's been quite a while since that time. Did you podcast what us? Is? Was it not the poker? I'm trying to remember how I got the thing open. Yeah. There's a ring on it. Like, why can't we just? Can't we? Can't you just? interact with it? I think you just had to move the rug. Oh, I had to turn the light on. And now I can just interact with it. What a puzzle. One one of the toughest questions in life, especially in any kind of project, is why can't we just? (laughs) (laughs) You learn early on in your career in production that that is not the question you ask to people in your team. Uh, Although... although I have had that question asked, and people have been like, yeah, like, why the fuck not? <laughs> every, every now and then, yeah. Every now and then, it does happen. The Sometimes question I never want to hear from production is, really? <laughs> yeah. I don't I don't ever want to hear that. <laughs> yeah, no, that's fair. Like, oh, either I'm lying to you, and you need to fire me on the spot, or yes, really. <laughs> uh... Or does, was that a giggle I mean, keg? Yeah, it's a giggle keg. Let's let's go check out the giggle, giggle keg. That's some 80s cartoon shit right there. <laughs> the giggle keg. Everybody pour out a glass of giggle. The giggle keg gang. <laughs> the giggle keg gang. They're a, a less popular ripoff of the gummy bears. <laughs> oh, shit. Everything's a TV. Oh, hey. Oh, is she in there? It's that nice lady from the mirror nightmare. Oh, get over it. It's not that (laughs) scary. (laughs) I love love the delay, like as if that was a slow burn. Can we drink (laughs) it still, though? No, don't run away. That's what she's in there. Oh, what? Come on. We got to pry her out of there. Her bones are in the wine. Have a taste. Bones are in the wine. Bones are in the wine. Yeah, great idea. Let's have some nothing corpse like, wine. Nothing like a, a glass of bone wine. <laughs> glass of bone wine. Mm. Like if you if you boiled up like bones to get like you know the broth. marrow, the broth. Yeah. Could you then yeah. ferment that? Is there enough substance to it? Maybe it's probably really good for you. I mean, I don't think it would 
I don't think it would ferment well. I don't think meat juice ferments <laughs> particularly nicely. Yeah, you, you don't you don't see a They're lot of savory ferments, alcohol. I yeah. I can't think of any alcohol that has not is not made of either a fruit or a vegetable. Like, are there meat wines? Are there or, meat or meat wine? alcohols of any other type? Let me just open up Google. Are <laughs> there meat wines? So you can you you can lacto ferment meat and fish. Um, mm, fish wine. You can you can you can ferment sausage. Yes. Yeah, uh, but I mean, like that doesn't turn into a juice to drink. Kimchi uh, that doesn't turn into, into a, God, an alcohol that just gets like tangy. God knows flavor. the the uh, the uh, Icelandic people have that fermented shark meat. Oh yeah, that like apparently Fisk smells like yeah 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 man that smells like fucking death. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I'm pretty sure the uh, the Inuit people here in Canada uh, have fermented meat because there's just fucking, there's nothing else, right? Like, you put it in a bag until it, it rots and then you just leave it. Don? Oh, not the Don. Yeah, th there's in Japan, I think there's some kind of style of sushi that's using fermented fish and apparently that was the original type of sushi. And yeah. they're, they're kind of bringing it back here in Toronto or something. So, yeah. Oh, Yeah. You might be thinking of a uh, Funa. Mm. That shit's horrible. <laughs> <laughs> That's the thing. You can ferment meat, but I haven't. I think it's it, to call it an acquired taste. I don't know. Maybe. maybe. I mean, you know, Japan d has fermented its its sort of share of things. If you've ever had natto, right? Like, yeah, that's. Like, hey, let's get some fucking beans and let's, like, wrap it up in corn husk or something like that and bury it underground after steaming it for a while. Like, then it looks like it's covered in just it's not marshmallow and snot. <laughs> yeah. Uh, not not easily is the answer to for to turning hmm. a, like a, an animal into an alcoholic beverage. The main thing is Not that easily, you, but it is done, or it has been done. So you need carbohydrates, is the thing, and almost every animal is a bad source of carbohydrates. Mostly just protein, yeah. Yeah, and the the protein and the fat kind of get in the way. So there's like animal products like honey. You can make alcohol out mm -hmm. of honey because it's basically all sugar. Um, right. So that is, it's kind of an animal alcohol, honey. Animal alcohol. Mead. <laughs> I suppose. Uh, I think you can Spell ferment. M e apostrophe d. I think you can ferment milk and drink it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If it's got sugar in it, I mean, you can do that's it. That's lactose, yeah, right, which is a sugar. I never made the connection that like lactose, the os is the same. Mm, as glucose, like, fructose, yeah. glucose, yeah. De dextrose. Yeah. Oh no, Don was here. The cigarette. Does Don smoke? Do we know yeah, Don yeah, smoke? Don smokes. It was the 90s. Everybody, everybody did. She's going to light up in a second. <laughs> hey, just put it back. What? I want it. <laughs> you want it? This reminds me of the passageway in Colonel's Bequest where there's that cigar we found. Oh, yeah. yeah. The, the closest I can find to meat booze is... Cock ale. Cock ale. No, you don't say. <laughs> Popular in the 17th and 18th century in England, uh, cock ale was an ale whose recipe consisted of normal ale, to which was at, later added a bag stuffed with a parboiled skinned and gutted cock and various fruits and spices. Hmm. So the alcohol did not come from the cock. It's mostly that you just Added. boiled yourself up some poultry and just steeped it in regular ale. And then you would just take that sort of meaty, boozy, I'm guessing cloudy liquid. <laughs> Guys, and, I wanna, uh, yeah. I'd like to quit the, ch the channel. <laughs> so, I think I'd like to quit right now. Co Cockahall was a step too far for Cock you. Cockahall. Cockahall oh, brought him back. 
<laughs> all right, caca hall's good. Do they for uh, real I mean, do that like all the time? Like, was it a common practice, or was it just some goof like saying, "I can do this"? Um, I can make beer out of chicken. <laughs> yeah, watch I, me. I found a couple like clickbaity looking articles that were talking about it, and that led me to the look up look it up on Wikipedia, which claims that it was popular at some point. Popular. Um, it sort of makes sense because like drinkable water was not the easiest thing to oh, get all yeah. of the time. But adding chicken to it is not going to help. Well, no, but the ale would be drinkable sometimes, even if the water wasn't. Well, sure, yeah, 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 absolutely. But like, so yeah, if I, you if you if you wanted to make soup, you know, mm-hmm. you could, yeah, perfectly normal use of chicken. But I, what I want to know is what the re- reasoning behind the chicken was, besides just a stunt. What does it add? To what is it for? Is it part of a ritual? It's like soup. It's basically a soup. So why don't you just make a soup? What is I that thing? It, it looks like a giant th- sausage in the foreground. I think it, it was basically a soup. Oh, I, I don't know for sure, but that's what I'm guessing. Okay, like it's a boozy punch soup. You, you, you would make it for the same reason that you made soup, except you didn't need drinkable water to make it. You just needed drinkable booze. Oh, okay, I see. Okay, gotcha. I have a an article from the Globe and Mail published on December 28th, 2015, talking about fermented meats are good for you, and they even taste good, too, <laughs> but they don't give Why any examples. <laughs> are you running? Too far. She was, long, briefly. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Just jump. It is a long jump. This was not in the MLS. Yeah, see, like, no, <laughs> nothing to worry about, you know, very quiet, you know, fairly serene. If I found myself in a house like this, I could only conclude that I had already died. (laughs) (laughs) And this was all an apparition in sort of the the neurons of my brain winking out one at a time and distracting themselves from the tedium of that. Well, yeah, with all these 90s textures, at the very least, you'd be thinking that the robots who have overcome mankind have, have really not, you know, didn't have very good hardware. Yeah, they must be following the, uh, Reverse Hippocratic Oath. They're like a bit behind us in terms of technology. <laughs> they could just give us virtual reality that looks like this. It's interesting to think of a whole species that practices the reverse, reverse. Hippocratic Oath, <laughs> but somehow still becomes a spacefaring race <laughs> of conquerors. That's the issue that people have with Klingons, you know? Like, how can someone who... A culture that's so focused on being warriors, like, scientists need to exist too, and... You just they just be bullied nonstop by the jocks of the race. <laughs> like even yeah. Klingons aren't quite do only harm, right? No, 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 not at all. They, they, at they all. still care about things like you know being a good father. Yes, it's, they don't necessarily have the same definition of that that mm-hmm. most it's human families would. Honorable were. warrior sure. society, right? Yeah, Adrian, it was already closing. We've already been here. We have been here. That's true. So we found a little glory hole looking into this room. <laughs> it's a church, Luke. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. It's like a glory apps or something. It goes together like glory holes in churches. <laughs> it's a glory altar. The glory altar. Ooh, I forgot about this book. It's been a year since we looked at it. The, the Necronombocon. This house kind of reminds me of um, the guy on TikTok who compares Canadian real estate to literal European castles. <laughs> yes. Because yeah. it'll be like a, a shitty two-bedroom house mm-hmm. and like a literal castle with like a sprawling estate yeah, a and vineyard, multiple yeah. apartments and a tower yeah. and yeah. a greenhouse. A moat. And yeah. And they're the same price. Yeah, they're, they're, they're both, you know, for 10 million or something like that. Yep. Long pants and macrame trats? Is that what she said? Yeah. Wow. Long pants and the crema tracks. Wow, that book is full of secrets. This really seems like somebody acted that out in their life. Like they were going to buy a house, they saved up enough, and then they were like, well, why would I buy a house here when I could buy a European castle? And then it turned out to be haunted as fuck. <laughs> You think it, like Adrian and Don were like looking at a like a studio <laughs> studio apartment in like uh, for now? in Boston or yeah, something like, like that? Feet, like, yeah, yeah, we, yeah. We, we can't yeah, they really were... afford this. 
They were like, they were saving up to live in like, you know, New York yeah. <laughs> or something. And they were like, they were saved up to buy their apartment. And Don was like, you know, we could buy this apartment. We've got the, we've got the capital saved up. But look at this fucking mansion in the middle of nowhere. Do we really care that much about living in the city? Also, like, you're a writer. Oh, yeah. I'm a photographer. You're a writer. I'm a photographer. Exactly. Come on. <laughs> what are we doing? Nature photography. Nature's all over the place here. Forget about it. I'm going to buy a vest, <laughs> and I'm going to wear a ponytail so I look like I belong in wilderness. <laughs> I'm going to look like like a fucking like bird enthusiast. <laughs> The, yeah, the the start cut the starting cutscene of this game is him taking a picture on a hill, and then mm. looking at the house. Oh yeah, we've been through this. Oh yeah, who could forget? Oh, the show. Oh. It's a very thick book with one page of, you know, people's. I guess I'm, yes. ass- I'm assuming it's supposed to look old, but it doesn't because of the font, but I'm assuming it's old. Yeah, and, and they, they printed it out on a dot mm. matrix printer. And they scrolled would be the s- font, too. It would be such a sad thing to see in, like, a <laughs> ruined or abandoned property is a big, thick, like, guest book. As if, like, oh, we're going to host so many functions mm-hmm. here, and, like, two pages are filled in. <laughs> <laughs> Well, even worse would be if, like, the majority of those two pages were the same, like, four people or mm. something like that. Man, she's in a reading mood. Carnot's Phantasmagoria show <laughs> in London's Egyptian theater last night and found it horrific, spine tingling, and incredible. Women were swooning in the aisles at the gory realism of his spectacles. For the uninitiated, his glasses were the faint of heart. As they feature occult images, the black arts, torture devices, bodily amputations. Jesus. Of course, all are accompanied by a generous dose of screams, shrieks, howls, and frightening organ music. Organ so, music. And chills, won't want to miss bagpipes. <laughs> Lung pipes. Uh, I forgot that his name was Carno. <laughs> Car- Carnivash, but yeah, something something Carnivash. Carno, yeah. the but ghost magician. <laughs> a, a ghost magician named Carno. You know the organ music is meat organs, not like pipe <laughs> organs. Oh, yeah. He's got a bunch of like bladders and stuff, and he's going to uh-huh. stomp on it. <laughs> That's why, it could, yeah, there's the, the lung pipe, the heart organ. <laughs> It's like the, the the wet flatulent noises of a man squeezing down on a distended, you know, yeah. a distended valve. All the music is just sound is just air through sphincters. Domestication <laughs> yeah. is evil. Mm-hmm. The devil made me do it. This guy had some strange taste. Like in Jurassic Park when they were blowing into the the 3D printed Velociraptor larynx or whatever. <laughs> right. Only like meaty. This entire bookshelf is Twilight fan fiction. <laughs> it probably wasn't three D printed in the movie. I don't. I don't remember how they created it. It's it like a mold they cast or something. Man, I don't know. Oh, I look like a nerd. <laughs> I do. Yes, I do. <laughs> <laughs> What, oh, what hey, speaking here? of that, yeah, we're no. out of time. Oh. Speaking of nerds. <laughs> well, thanks for tuning in, everybody. Later, nerds. <laughs> St- stick, stick and stay. Do, yeah. Do, do only harm. There's a... There's a Choo- stick and stay, choose fear, do only harm. <laughs> choose fear. There's a... There's a we're going to do some of your uh, questions for Gory uh, next episode. Ooh. So... Keep the dial turned to level zero NPCs. Nice. As we go out on this shit. Bye. 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 Stick and stay. Stick and stay. <laughs>